All right, so we're going to stay in the new world though. Thank you for those who joined along on that little Chardonnay journey. Um, we're going to go back to, we're going to stay in the new world. We're going to move to the Robert Bowen Chardonnay. I had so many happy people um, talking to me last week after the Robert Bowen Pinot Noir. So I thought we'd better come and highlight the Chardy today. Uh, stunning wine. Same vintage, ironically, didn't expect that. For those who don't know, uh, Robert Bowen is a uh, absolute legend. He's a WA wine winemaker. Uh, he's, he was the chief winemaker at Hortons and Cable Vale. Uh, he really has helped to establish Western Australia's wine regions on the international map. You know, for over 40 years, you know, Rob has worked tirelessly uh, to create, produce and promote wines that champion the West, the West Coast and, you know, varying regions found there. So not just Margaret River, but Pemberton, which is where this is from as well. This little guy's whole bunch pressed. So for those who remember from last week, they basically harvest the grapes, they throw them in the barrel all together, like not in the barrel, both barrel and tank, but they'll throw them in total, like it's just whole bunch. Um, it's fermented with wild yeast, so indigenous yeasts, and 50% is in brand new French oak barrels, which um, is normally for around 11 months. And it does go through a malolactic fermentation. Malolactic, what it basically does is just kind of rip off that acidity a little bit and make it a little bit more creamy. So there is this misconception sometimes when you, when you taste a wine, they think, oh, it's buttery. That's from the oak. No, no, buttery, creamy, those kind of words will most likely be malolactic ferment. Um, it makes it much more rich, yeah? All right, so you see the colour again. That, oh, wow, it's like very similar, that olive, oily, uh, green, yellow kind of colour. Um, let's have a look on the whoa, oak. Yes, wow, delicious. And ha actually, I didn't realize, this is the H block. So this is actually from um, one single, vo single block as well, which is really exciting. Okay, so when I get past the oak, one thing I do like about Robert is that, um, Rob, he's, he, he uses oak as a vessel. He doesn't necessarily overpower a wine with the oak. Oh, but you're getting beautiful stone fruit. Mmm, butterscotch, butterscotch and cream, uh, nutty, lazy. I, I feel that like, even though it's got stone fruit, the freshness isn't there. Like it, it's now gone into that really rich, mm, I can taste it in my mouth already. Um, yeah, it's, it's softened out. Like it's not this like, it, it's gone into more ripe stone fruit, but it's definitely creamy and butterscotchy. Oh. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh, it's tangy, super full bodied. Wow, this is a wine that I would have with a meal. Like I could eat this with a steak dinner if I wanted to really. You could really drink this with a meal. Wow, it is tangy, it's full bodied, it's nutty, it's buttery, it's got all the right characters, everything that I'd expect from a WA Chardonnay, that is delicious. And incredible value for money, actually. Like, the, like when you look at the Andaluna, you're looking around $35 on the shelf. This guy's about the same. Andaluna's great, beautiful wine, but the intensity and the richness of this is definitely more to the Australian palate, uh, whereas the Andaluna's a little bit more uh, softer and more complex. Um, this one's got all that butteriness, all that... Um, tangy acidity, all that butterscotch and cream and all those kind of characters that I think a lot of Australians are really moving towards now. Uh, going back to, I should say, because this was massive in the 80s, this kind of style. It's not oaky, it's, it's buttery and it's creamy and that is delicious, great value for money. Don't have much of it left, absolutely wonderful, very happy with that. Mm. Have to take a cheeky sip. Yummy, absolutely yummy. That's Robert Bowen.